What's going on, guys? Sorry, never again. Uh, Timber Tuesday here. It's Timber Friday. Um, I am playing a game called Crusader Kings 2. Uh, it's one of my favorite games as of late. Pretty much, long story short, you play as a dynasty, not like a, a country or anything. You play as a dude or a woman, and you kind of run things. There's lots of fun drama stuff that pops up, like you can cheat on your wife, who would be like the Queen of England, uh, with the Queen of France or something, and have like inbred kids with your sister. Um, you can extrapolate from there, but you get the idea. So we're going to jump right in. First of all, I'm going to set a timer because otherwise I'll keep going. We're going to do the Iron Century. Uh, we're not going to pick any of these guys, although they are fun. So this is what normally the game kind of looks like. You can play as any of these people. So pleasant. Uh, so you can be like Indian people, and I have a bunch of DLC, uh, which I suppose I should probably list, um, but I don't recall off the top of my head. Wait, is it down here? So yeah, I have Swords of Islam, Legacy of Rome, uh, the Old Gods, I realize this doesn't matter to most people. Charlemagne, Way of Life, Conclave, Reapers Do, Monks and Mystics, and Holy Fury. So, if you're just keeping track. But anyway, really cool. You can see, like, different people. They'll have different uh, descent and everything, and I'll get into that. Um, but yeah, I have, like, portrait packs, too, so they look cool. And they'll have, like, cleft lips, and their lips will be messed up, or, like, a lisp. And sadly, people, like judge them for that. I mean, it's not that sad. These are pretend people, am I right? Uh, and a lot of these are legitimate, like, historic rulers. So King Ethelstan of England is a real person. Uh, and you'll be able to, uh, like, actually look at his Wiki Wikipedia page. His Wiki page, if you're, if you're interested. Um, anyway, I should jump right in. This is, like... It says this is a, a hard place to start as Ireland, but this is known as like Newbie Island. And I only have like 100 hours in this game, so I'm seen as a complete noob. Uh, I haven't even finished a playthrough yet. So yeah, we're gonna start as King Fleifbertak of Munster. And then we're gonna try to spread all of Ireland, get Wales, uh, and then probably England and Scotland. I mean, definitely, we wanna take over the British Isles. Uh, maybe go up to Greenland. Uh, definitely take France, because, you know, I don't know, French joke somewhere. All right, let's play this thing. Uh, da, da, da. There's one thing I want to... I'll never be able to find this. Uh, if I, could, I forget what it is, but it's like, name things accurately. And I turned that off, because... So this won't be named, like, Powis. It'll be named something that it was historically called. And... It'll change if like the Muslims invade, and that's just that's just way too much. Um, so what do we got here? We've got, I mean, this all looks kind of similar. That's why I, I picked the later start date. But you'll see like Russia doesn't exist. Um, what are we missing? Like Finland doesn't exist. Swede Sweden doesn't exist. Belgium is kind of like Flanders, I think. Uh, yeah, and then like Byzantine Empire, which obviously doesn't exist anymore, but there's the Hagia Sophia and the Basilius. Anyway, so we're over here. I should stop nerding out. I can do this just looking at maps forever. So let's take a look at our dude, King Fleithbertak. And there, you can actually click his wiki link. So he's going to die like very soon. And <clears throat> this means this is you, obviously, this is your wife. You all have traits, uh, so here's like my diplomacy. That means means a number of things. I won't get super into, but I'll quickly summarize. This means like how many uh, lands you can hold, pretty much. This means how powerful you are in battle. This means how much money you make. Uh, this means like how many the intrigue is like plots, so you can like plot to kill people, uh, among other things. Um, so I'll, like, show how powerful those plots are for you. For your little dude there. Uh, learning. 
and then like how good you personally are in battle, so you can like duel people. And I'm at negative 14, so yeah, just because of his old age, his old age, he's terrible at it. Uh, he's honest, so I'm not gonna explain all this, but just to give you an idea, he's ambitious, greedy, which is actually quite good, paranoid, and an indulgent wastrel. And he's gonna be uh, taken over here by his 23-year-old son, Ku Ken Mathair, Mac Fletcher. Boy, whatever. Uh, who's greedy, ambitious, paranoid, and a dutiful cleric. Uh, so first thing first, I'm gonna marry this, this dude. I tend to go with a genius. No geniuses. Uh, and then I go quick, nope. Nobody available there. So these are like all the people you can potentially marry, right? Uh, and there are homosexuals in this game, um, which is like frowned upon, but you can't marry homosexually. So Jason, if you're watching, our love would never blossom in this time. Um, okay, so who do we want? This guy is... In the last playthrough, my guy is a genius, married to a genius, and that just gives you all your stats are, like, really good. Um, okay. So we are... The, this shows, like, our holdings. So we have one out of five... One out of five holdings, which means, like, these, pretty much, right? So there we are in Desmond. This is, like, our one little area, and it's tribal. So not very good. So you can... It's not like super good graphics. This game is from 2012, I think. But you can see it's like a little tribal, whereas uh, England, London is quite a bit more formed. And then to actually see London, it's like in here. So doesn't really matter too much. How much does King Ethelstan like us anyway? Negative one. We're both ambitious, that's it. Uh, we can choose to like sway him and have him on our side. Which we might do, maybe make him an ally early on, uh, because we're going to want to take over all of this part of Ireland first before making a move over here. And for context, like in my other game, I've played for tens of hours and I haven't even conquered the whole island. I've got quite a significant part of England, most of Scotland, all of Wales, and all of Ireland, but that's about it. Don't have Cornwall. All right, so we're going to start swaying this guy. I'm going to let the game play. Actually, maybe I shouldn't. A lot of people, like, take a long time uh, before letting the game actually unpause. So I'm going to I'm gonna play this reasonably smart. So some of these things your kids can inherit. Uh, and we want to marry, hopefully, someone higher up. Is this really all the options available to us? So we can marry a, a three-year-old. That's actually a betrothal, um, which means you'll be able to marry like when they're of age. So grooming is what we call that these days. Um, intricate web weaver, she's 16. Bohemian, she's a courtier from Bohemia. Bohemia could be a powerful ally. So if you like marry here, you could potentially do a an alliance there, so I'm not gonna worry about that. I'm not gonna worry about his marriage because he can't marry anyone worthwhile. We're like a really small time king, so we're probably not gonna have a ton of uh, options. So right now we're picking our ambition, uh, and that'll give us random things. Like if I make a friend, once that's successful, like once that actually pans out, I will gain one diplomacy. It really doesn't matter because this guy's gonna probably die in like 10 days. I become king of Ireland. Yeah, that's not going to happen. Um, wants to build a war chest. It, are any of these doable? Uh, 300. You know what? I'm just going to do that. Uh, and then his focus will do stewardship. Try to make some money. Special title actions available. Oh, yeah, set crown fo focus. So this is from a DLC. Set the crown focus to here, which is the only place we really own. So we're like a minor king, which is like the equivalent of a duke, pretty much. Whereas the king of England controls all of that. We control not a lot. And the Holy Roman Empire will control like this whole area. Byzantine Empire is obviously super powerful. 
Um, all right, so we will appoint a regent just to, in case we get in jail or something, they can run the country. So we'll pick that guy, he looks good enough. No court physician possibilities. Uh, I'm gonna unpause the game, let it play at speed two. Let's see what our military is looking like. So in this time period, there weren't like really standing armies. So you would have like your vassals. So I'm the king, I have like my levies that I can raise. Um, so for me, that is 654 units. From my vassals, I can only raise 35. Um, they're actually, my vassals are pretty happy with me, but they're not willing to give me very many troops regardless. So 35 is like a laughable amount. Maybe not so much now, but like as a whole. Uh, then you can do mercenaries, but those are just unbelievably expensive. So we have 60 gold or ducats, I think technically is what it's called. Uh, and to hire them, it's like this one is 4,500 ducats right off the bat and then 32 a month. So yeah, that would bankrupt us instantly. All right, King Ethelstan of England has declared English Galloway de jure war over Cumberland on King Owain of Galloway. So Scotland and Ireland are going to war because uh, if you go into here, I'm not like super good at this, but Cumberland. So if you click around, it doesn't really matter where. Um, shit, where is that? Well, point is, he has some kind of claim over here that the King of England is saying, I have a claim on this area, and I'm going to come take it. And this wall, I think, is like a new addition. And that is, I think, uh, like Rome came and built this wall in real life because they just realized they couldn't take Scotland. So they took England and Wales, I think, uh, but couldn't go into St Scotland. So letting the game play out a little bit. All right, what's our council doing? So we have these people, the chancellor, who's able to like, the main thing for me, especially early in the game, is he's able to fabricate a claim. So send your chancellor to fabricate claims on land, landed titles held by local rulers. A highly skilled chancellor may even fabricate a claim on a duchy. <laughs> My dog's being dramatic. So the order of importance pretty much is like, if I remember correctly, it's like a barony, which is run by a baron, a county, which is run by a count, a duchy, which is run by a duke, a kingdom, which is run by a king, and then an empire, which is run by an emperor. So we're like pretty much a duke. Um, but if we have a good chancellor, like this would be, if we look at this map type, this is all one duchy. It's not run by one person, but we could potentially rule this or get a claim on this whole area. I don't know how to use this, it turns out. Show does your ties, whatever. All right, so we're gonna have this guy go over and fabricate a claim on, why don't we go into Osiri? Our marshal will be, so the game's unpaused still, just kind of going slow. Uh, so he's a powerful vassal. How is everybody? They're all pretty, like, reasonably happy. I don't have any money to bribe them, but they'll, like, shoot down your idea of going to war or imprisoning someone, which is not great. So right now he's organizing an army in Desmond. Uh, organize your armies and drill your commanders. Reduces retinue monthly cost. So what we got here? Righteous imprisonment. Try to imprison Chief Senateg of Thilmond. Uh, what did he try to do? Try to fabricate a claim on Petty Kingdom of Munster. Oh, yeah. What a dick. So this guy's trying to fabricate a claim on, like, take my title, pretty much. Which is Petty King. Son of a bitch. How many? He has 566 troops. I have... 654. You know what? 
right now I, I would normally imprison him, but it's probably not going to happen because he's going to raise his troops and try to fight back, and it'd be a, a close one. And Thomond is like a good place to be. <laughs> There's a river, and you get a penalty from crossing. The conversion of Hungary. The tribes of Hungary have been converted to the Catholic faith. A group of priests sent by a king of Croatia have performed a great ritual, which they have converted the entire population of Hungary alongside Grand Prince Arpad Zolta. That sounds like a very fake name, but apparently this is a real dude. And many of his vassals. With this act, the people of Hungary have once and for all forsaken their old pagan gods. So around this time, obviously, there's like the papacy, papacy. Speaking of which, I'm going to get my court chaplain to improve religious relations in Rome. Because this is the Pope, and he is he's cool with this, I guess. Um, and yeah, he's, he's got, they're generally like pretty good people, but I read somewhere on Reddit that... Uh, Someone like had a homosexual relationship with the Pope and like ended up getting a ton of land from him and like they were secret lovers. Freaking fantastic. Okay, the King of England just created the Duchy of York. So that looks like this. All right. It's kind of hard to tell, but this little slightly less red part is the Duchy of York. And here's the religions around here. Largely Catholic. What are you? Germanic. Oh, that's right, because it's a really interesting time in history. Dublin is apparently Germanic too. Fun fact. There's Sunni Muslims over here, Shia Muslims, Orthodox. So this is like what Rome turned into. Um, yeah. All right, Chief Senateg, which is me has arrested an armed man with ragged armor and a spotty horse. He says the man claims to be a hedge knight, but clearly does not believe that statement. Why? Ordered the hedge knight released. Uh, I get piety, which I have, like, none of. This is clearly a bandit. I get prestige. I think I'm going to go with the prestige. All right, we'll go with that. Um... We got Italy over here, which is actually a country still. That's surprising. That will not be a country. So we are in the year 937, by the way. I don't know if I mentioned that. What else are our dudes doing? Administer a realm. Uh, the steward, which is like in charge of the money. He is striving to improve my domain, which is French for domain, by the way. Um... Increases culture, conversion chance, and prosperity gain. I can also, these are all new to me. Assign your steward to settle members of your tribe in the county, increasing the chance that its culture will change to Irish. Oh, these are cool. So I've, I don't think I've ever played as a tribe before. Because normally I, they can like collect taxes and stuff like that. Um, so I'm not gonna worry about that. And they can also study technology. So like all of this stuff Legalism, for example, if you improve that, you can get, like, more control as a, a ruler. And then tolerance will give, like, the ability for women to be on your council or for women to take over as rulers and stuff. Uh, the spy master, right now he is covering plots and discouraging vassals from associating with factions. That's pretty strong for now. All right, we'll go with that. All right. I'm sure that if I use my influence... I hold over my tribes to increase his standing. King Ethelstane, the king of England, will come to appreciate me more. What is this badass helmet? Never seen that. I should really just try to be good at seduction and then bang his wife. That's pretty much the secret to the game. Except not, because that will always make you a tyrant, which is so funny. Uh, okay, so I can sway him to my cause. Lose almost all my prestige. You know what? He could be a powerful vassal, or ally, rather. Screw it. All right, speed up the game. <laughs> Not very successful. He ignored all the good rumors I've spread about him. That's wonderful, and now he dislikes me. Minus 30. Right? Thought I just read that. Well, <laughs> maybe... Who is running these? So 
So it is King Ol Olafar of the Idols. He is Norse, North Germanic. So maybe I can work together with this guy for a while. He doesn't like me, though, because I'm an infidel, and he's a pagan. Um, maybe I'll, like, team up with this guy. King Tyrone of Tyrone. King Myrtikacht. All right, this guy likes me decently enough. Sure. And he's popular. He looks like a nice guy. He's got a cane, you know? Don't laugh. Don't laugh! <laughs> Look at this guy. Who the hell is that? It's one of my counselors? Uh, my marshal tells me that one of my commanders, Lagari, has improved significantly. Bishop Lagari. My steward. So he's now a d defender. Cool. So that gives him, uh, which is funny because he's a bishop, so he's just a religious dude. But he's really good at being a stalwart defender, standing like a stone wall alongside the men. Uh, no matter what force throws itself against them. So he has way more defense. Um, my incompetent steward, speaking of which, has about a group of smugglers in the county of Desmond. Apparently he thought they were merchants. What a fool. Great. It's going to take a lot more time to build stuff, which it doesn't really matter because we won't build anything anytime soon because we don't have... We have a decent amount of money, but... Speaking of... Are there any pandemics going on? Nothing. That is a great sign. Is this my... Maybe this is one of their militaries. No. Okay, so I'm just checking the revolt risk. There's none. There's a bunch over here, but obviously that's it's not us. We don't need to worry about it. Damn, a thousand people. So you can check like how strong their armies are. So I gotta like learn how to make mine stronger because. Ours is extremely weak. So maybe with the money I can... So we're in Desmond. Um, don't have any prestige, so I can't build dick. That's right, with tribal people, that's all prestige. Son of a... Bitch. Only one tribe can live in each county. God damn it. <laughs> Does not have government holy order. I don't know anything about this, turns out. Um, tribal organization. So inheritance. We're a agnatic cognatic gavel kind, which means all my kids. I think it, that particular one means only the males will inherit the lands, which is a huge pain in the ass. If you have, like, you know, a bunch of boys. Because uh, they, like, break apart the land and all. That's, I mean, that's how this happened. <laughs> We're probably all related, actually. Let's see. Nope. Not related. Nope. Not related. Usually we are, though. It's all very incestuous. These two are probably related, though. You can see it's pretty cool. They have, like, a family tree. You can see how they died. Natural death. It's quite a few. This guy's in jail. All right. Perhaps it is time I ask Chief Mert, whatever, to spend some time with me. It's probably the fastest way for me to gain his trust. I'll ask him. Man, I forgot the prestige thing. I totally wasted that. Um, so diplomacy. It's too late to change that. 941, so I can change it in three years, but no matter. Uh, stewardship, okay. Mirkertak was happy to oblige me. Now that I have some time to spend with him, I'm confident that I can convince him of how like we are and that he stands only to gain from our friendship. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. You want to be buddies? Uh, da, 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 da. Defensive fact. 
think these days have really helped me getting Murdiac to know and appreciate me better. We have passed most of our time in my longhouse discussing of the most disparate topics. So just improve our opinion of each other. Sure. 20. Okay, so me and this guy are going to take concubine. <laughs> Should I take this guy as my, my wife? Maybe I'll take the Queen of England. How about you? Can I do that? Can, can I do it with you? Why not? I totally forgot the tribal stuff is. Select a person from the court of chief so-and-so to... The concubine, Jesus, that's dark. He's just like, yeah, sure, go for it. Sure, let's do it. It's creepy, sixty-five-year-old, sixty-eight-year-old, twenty-four-year-old concubine. Great. However, that is ways to create bastards, and like you might take a concubine that is way better traits than your wife, who is not great. Um, and then, yeah, you can, like, legitimize your bastards. Defensive pact opposing Friedrich. Has been disbanded, so he was too powerful for a while. A petty wench is throwing herself at you. Uh, Westful. Let's do it. He's arrested an armed man with ragged armor and a spotty horse. Um... Okay, we're gonna get more prestige. All right. So is that like the main way we build our army? Because we're gonna get so stomped if if any of these people try to invade us. Uh, keep persuading this guy. Uh, answer my letter that he has much to learn from me. Dang, this guy's. Look at that. Opinions continues to improve. He is chast, though. I probably should have went with that. Okay, this could be a good ally, but maybe I can do this. Uh, arrange betrothal, so his son... I just died, so it doesn't matter. So, I'm not this guy. I'm this guy now. King Kukan. Kukan. And Am Amlabe. Jesus, he's just, he's like decently good at diplomacy and martial, but he's like, not bad. Okay, so King Fyth, blah, 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 Fyther back tack was given up the ghost at age 68. He died a natural death. <laughs> I can't remember the last time playing this game I saw a natural death. It's like regularly died under suspicious circumstances, uh, which means they were thrown off a bridge or something. A wicked man. He will surely pay for his sins in the afterlife. Uh, <laughs> I'm a suspicious man. That's fucking rude. Alright, so now I have no alliance. This completely like reset, obviously, because I'm a completely different person. And I don't mean that ironically. So what I'm going to do is let me check out my can cancel. I don't even have a wife. Also, how do I have a kid? Oh, it's my brother, I see. Hm. Where is he? Okay, so first of all... So these... This means, like... This coincides with that. This coincides with that. So we have no loyalist people, so... If we try to pass a law, or like go to war, or imprison someone... They're not going to approve it. Uh, because they're, like malcontent, they don't like me. Especially this guy, he's like a powerful vassal. Um, although he's probably gonna die soon. So I'm not too worried about him. Um, but he's gonna shoot down anything I try to do, so. Court chaplain. So it's kind of like a balance. Do you wanna have people that are good at their jobs in your council? Or do you want people that will support what you wanna do? Sometimes it can be both, but not always. So chaplain, what is this going to do? Oh, we need learning. This is when you might want to... This is like everyone 
that you can contact here. Um, I'm going to see the best person at learning. This guy. Uh, and then invite him to my court if I can. And then try to get him to take this position. Um, let's do join court. Yes. Nobody will. <laughs> Man, playing as a tribe is... It ain't easy, babe. <laughs> All right, whatever. Malthasone. Like a pretty decent human being. He's gluttonous, though, so he's going to get fat. Uh, and then he got happy because he's on a council, and he really wants to get married. So we'll hook him up to my sister. She's a skilled tactician, which would be handy if we weren't. The patriarchy. Sure, whatever. Okay. Slow the game down a bit. Ruler unmarried. Yeah. Should probably... Should probably do that. Somebody just died. Okay, I was like, did... The guy I just appointed die, but no, someone else. All right, Chancellor. This guy's not... Not happy with us. Why not? Short reign... He has a claim on... Oh, this is my brother. Uh, both ambitious. That's a tough one. He's a 13, which isn't great. But that person is the one that can fabricate claims, so we need this to be as powerful as possible. Fuck it. Look at this. What are you doing, dude? Okay, ruler unmarried. It's time to find a wife. Uh, da, da, da. Who do we want? Some Italian? Any geniuses? Nope. Quick? Nope. Um, that's like the only... It's my go-to's. Normally there's a couple. Now we'll do like the highest ranking. Which is nobody. <sighs> Slim Pickens. We're really trying to create some... Master race here. Okay, 45 years old. We'll sort by age. Uh, fortune builder. That's a pretty good one. Envious, stubborn, cynical. 17 in stewardship. Uh, that's solid. 17 in. You know what? You're closer to my age. So you marry. Gerbega. Gerberga. Gerberga, Megan Hartstotter. So that means daughter of Megan's hard. <laughs> sure, she sounds good. Then we need to pick a focus. Might do war. Let's do it. So he's gonna get more combat skill. No, <laughs> maybe I need to unbot. There we go. Okay, do we want gold or prestige? Oh shit, we have no prestige. We have negative prestige. Okay, well, shit. <laughs> Who is this guy? Who is this beautiful human being? This King Wenzel of Germany. I'm gonna have to open this Wikipedia link in the background. See if this man is truly as beautiful as he looks. German Jesus. Uh, council is discontent, yeah, I know. This guy appointed my brother. Probably not a good call. Uh, set the crown focus in Desmond. Fulfilled the ambition to get married. Nice. So I don't know what that got me. I forget. I probably should have read. Uh, build a war chest. Okay. So I just need to make $500 pretty much, I think. I doubt that's going to happen. Let's try to make a friend. <laughs> that's harder than making money, am I right? Pound it. Am I right down there? Yeah, man. Uh, our regent will be... This guy seems good. He kind of likes this. No physician, so we're just doomed if any type of plague comes through. I'm just going to randomly assign these because people... Oh, and auto-assign commanders. That'll be fine. Cupbearer. Oh, shit. Okay, cool. 
<laughs> there's normally a uh, court jester and that like people don't like that obviously court tutor cool that's everyone oh my god this commander is a one relieve commander so if we go in here we can promote uh, da, 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 da. promote a commander but we can't because we don't have gold or prestige god damn it <laughs> oh wait adopt feudalism that would be great. That would just be great. Has a lot of absolute tribal organization. Okay, so we need to push towards tribal organization, absolute. And and then make a castle? No, I think we're good. Or no, has a stone hill fort. Okay, we can do that. Earth hill fort. Okay, so this probably improves. All right, let's do it. All right, that is our timer, though. Uh, we will pick this up. I'll put in a ch -ch -ch cut here and pick this up. Nothing happened, but, you know, this game is slow, so fuck you. Uh, we'll pick this up in the next time. <laughs> Peace on Earth.